Rudolph Research, uh, Auto EL3. Uh, it's useful to measure the film thicknesses, uh, non contact mode. Uh, the system uh, is based on the ellipsometric th thickness measurements. There is a laser source in the unit and a polarizing prism here. And then the beam is bounces of the sample which is located on this table and there's an analyzer on this side and a detector. Uh, there's a alignment uh, tool here, this is an auto collimator and the auto collimator helps to uh, locate the sample in such a way that the sample is properly level with respect to the vertical axis here. It has to be 90 degrees. So in order to achieve that, there are three knobs under the stage. These three knobs uh, will tilt the table left and right will tilt it up and down and, and there's also a knob in the front which will also tilt it along the y-axis. So in order to compensate for the differences in thickness of the sample, there's a quarter 20 Allen screw under this big disc. The screw should be loosened and then we rotate this big knob so that the table can be lifted up and lowered. And once the leveling is achieved, which is possible by looking at the reflected laser on the face of the polar uh, analyzer one. detector head here. So there is an aperture through which the beam should pass through. So you adjust the height and then you lock the quarter 20 screw here and then level it. So the alignment has to be done repeated a couple of times till we get the perfect alignment. And viewing through this eyepiece we can see a, a bright circular dot and the circular dot has to be centered at the crosshair. <laughs> So once I power up, the system will respond with up concept compensator insert. So this is the compensator insert. You have to push it up. It's a mechanical plate. And then press continue key to start. The software revision on this system is uh, initialization. Software revision is 508. And the unit includes a thermal printer and also there's the RS-232 port available for connecting it to any other unit. So after the initial adjustment it says down compensator, you press it down and then go to the program and type in the key. So the program we type in is measurement routine 2 and the calculation routine 10, that is 210, and you press enter. So what this routine does is it will calculate both the film thickness and also the refractive index of the layer. It should be about 1.462 uh, in this particular unit. And to use uh, 210 routine, the film thickness on the vapor should be approximately 1,000 angstroms, you know, anywhere between 950 to 1150. It will be able to measure the refractive index correct or accurate value. So the unit can measure, right now the sample I have is uh, silicon dioxide on silicon. And 
it measured correctly. It's supposed to be about 11.55 and so I measured it right. And the refractive index is right on it. So the third reading here, which is the order thickness, that is the maximum value of thickness this unit will measure directly. That means about 2,800 angstroms can be measured or can be seen straight on the display here. So I'm going to test a 2,200 standard, uh, which is uh, silicon dioxide on silicon. So I'm going to select a program, 211, or we could do a reset and start all over. Let's see. So the So it asks to enter the film refractive index, I enter 1.462. The unit requires 110 volts power supply and there's a cooling fan inside the unit and the system cannot be placed very close to the wall. So the unit, the measurement is good. It's about 2,250. Uh, supposed to be 2228 angstrom. Now I'm going to put a 450 angstrom sample here. These are very old standards and the readings are a little off because of the aging and a thorough cleaning of the unit will help to, of the sample also will help to measure accurately. Care should be taken to use this instrument in a cleaner room and this, the table top should be kept clean all the time. sample here which is uh, a wafer about 9470 angstroms so this sample I'm going to test it and I'm going to show how to measure very thick films about 2800 angstroms So the order thickness is uh, 2,825. So in order to measure the thick films, the approximate thickness of the layer should be known. So. The approximate thickness of this standard is 9,400. So I take 2825 and measure it, multiply it with 3, and I get 8,475. So this, uh, this, this numeral 3 is N. So if I am measuring any, anything that is less than 8,475, 
and uh, then I use digit 2. So the formula is order thickness times n plus whatever TL to displace. So now I have to add 1023 and I get a reading 9498. So uh, that's what it is, 9470. So it is pretty close and repeatable. I also have a silicon nitrite sample and I'm going to test it using measurement routine 2 and calculation routine 3. Before we ship the system, uh, we will uh, send it to a paint shop before we pack it and uh, touch it up and clean it nicely. So it is exactly the same measurement. So I, in order to measure every time, you can just press continue, then it will measure using the same routine. But if it is necessary at any point of time, we can start with program. And the detailed user's manual will be included with this machine, either a hard copy or on a disk. So it is important to read the manual before operating this machine. Because a lot of so I'm going to reset this. I'm using a silicon nitrate sample here, which is supposed to be about thousand angstroms in thickness. So we have to make sure that the beam is bouncing off the film, not. I'm going to up the compensator and press continue. So at any point of time, if you want to halt the measure, use the halt key. And uh, at any point you want to cancel or clear the data entered, use C. And the decimal point by using letter D and E is enter. Uh, these uh, standards will not be included with the machine because these are for our uh, in-house use. Uh, any film thickness measurement standards from either NIST or any other source such as Rudolph Technologies, uh, people sell them film thickness standards. So they have to be the same material that uh, we are interested in. So the measured thickness is uh, 948 angstroms. And the tell is with, and the refractive index is 2.011, which is very close to what it is supposed to be. It's a good stand. I'm just going to initialize the system to demonstrate how it looks and power off. So the unit requires about 15 to 20 minutes warm-up time for the laser to stabilize after power off.